What's going on everybody? Today we're putting a 420cc Predator and a torque converter on our off-road Murray go-kart and we're revisiting the hill. Ike's about to give it a shot. Go ahead, bud. So like we said, we're putting a 420 and a torque converter on this thing. Now this go-kart is already very capable off-road. Check out the last video of this go-kart and you'll see that it really could handle everything that we threw at it. But more power is always better, right? Can never go wrong with power. That's right. And all these parts are from GoPowerSports.com. Thank you GoPowerSports. Go check out GoPowerSports, links in the description uh, to all the parts we used. So this is the torque converter right here. This is going to be the, the pulley that goes on the engine. This thing is freaking heavy duty. It's a lot more expensive than the three quarter inch output shaft torque converter, but it's designed to handle a lot more power. It's designed to handle, what, 13 horsepower? So basically up to uh, one of these 420s. But we have the same torque converter on our 670cc 22 horsepower 40 foot pound freaking beast and it's done fine so far okay here's the belt some hardware and the rear pulley and the plate itself Oop. this thing's pretty heavy i don't see it yet I see a picture of it there we go. Easy installation. There we go. Done. I'm seeing it. <laughs> it's like the 212 that took steroids. It really is. Yeah. No problem. I just forget how freaking big these things are. Well, you ought to pick it up. <laughs> I have. I mean, the 212 is a very solid engine. Very solid. I mean, it's done 53 miles an hour on some of our race carts. I mean, it's it's a great motor. It turns up high. Trying. Right. Yeah, three without even trying. Right, right. Yeah. But the 420, there's, there's no replacement for displacement. Some people will argue with you on that. Some people will say that's where a turbo or supercharger comes in. Sure. But just the sheer torque of a 420, a 212 can't compete with the torque of a 420. That's right. And if they're saying supercharger and turbo, you know, we could supercharge and turbo with that. Yeah, Again, we could. No, yeah, although the, no. the 212 is probably better for turning up higher. Oh, it is, no doubt. But you're not gonna get a lot of torque out of a turbo, not out of a, you know, carbureted turbo or even, you know, a relatively cheap EFI setup with the turbo. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna start removing the 212. I've never seen anyone get under a go-kart before. It's kind of nice, dude. Nice and quiet. All right, but that freaking thing isn't budging. There's no leverage. Did you slip or was that it? That's it. Sweet. That's it. That's the last bolt. Motor's ready to come so out. So the engine is ready to come off. I'm not sure where it came out, but that'll work. Look at the size difference between those two. Yeah. I don't know how it comes across on camera. I guess I've just become accustomed to the 420 on the drift strike, but side by side, it's, it's insane. Well, so how the heck are we gonna fit it in there? Oh, well, we're probably gonna have to, I was to move on, one of these over. I was planning on taking the seat out. Oh, and fit it in that way. Yeah. That'd probably be the easiest thing to do. And then we can fix the seat then we bracket. Can fix the bracket. That we've yep. been meaning to do since day one. Yep. Perfect. All right. Let's do it. Let's get it done. All right. The seat. Got the seat off. Boy, that thing looks weird without the seat. Another issue we're already running into is with the jack shaft and the old torque converter. 
So there's not enough clearance over here to remove the torque converter and we can't scoot the jack shaft over. So we're gonna have to remove the whole big rear plate. It'll be fine. We got this? Yep. It's funny, I, I didn't see a BMW badge anywhere on it, but uh -huh. I guess it's on here somewhere. Um, I think you're referring to how much of a pain it is to work on. Yeah. Well, all the bolts are out of the, uh, the engine cradle, I'm going to call it. And uh, let's just remove the whole thing. Well, that thing's impressive. Like a glove. Like it was meant to be. Actually, though. All right. We've got the engine up there. It's a tight fit. What's even more of a tight fit is the torque converter. Um, <laughs> she's in there. She's close to everything. As you can hear, we'll just kind of move it over just a, a hair. There we go. A um, little bit of tweaking. Uh, now I'm going to try the seat up there and see if the seat fits because the engine is just massive. Really? Alright. Okay, seat's up there. I'm wondering if it's a. Uh, did you move it forward? I only moved the driver's side. Okay, so the passenger side ought to be exactly where it was when we were riding it. Okay, I can live with this. And we got a little bit of room, just a tad, to move backwards. Good. It's just a tight fit on all fronts. It's, it's like it was made for it. I mean, look at the fitment for the exhaust. And the intake. And the intake. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, why don't you, uh, this is another thing we hadn't looked. Why don't you hold this back and look and see if that torque converter is going to hit the brake? Yeah. Nope. Wow. It's so close. Yeah. What you been doing? Lining up the engine so I can drill holes and get it mounted. Yeah. Everything fits so tight on this thing. But it's like perfect. It's just right. Well, it's your birthday, isn't it, Ike? <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Are you kidding me? That's a bit dramatic. Hell. Black balloon. <coughs> Happy birthday, bud. Well, thank you. Joel, you need a hand, bud? Ha uh, black balloons for the 25th birthday, right? That's right. I'm sure you feel real special right now. Black balloons. It's usually not a good sign. Joel was supposed to be more dramatic. Joel was supposed to jump out of the car holding that Not with 40 balloons. <laughs> I think we ought to tie it to some kids. And see if we can make some cats float away. Float away, yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bud. <laughs> <Thanks>. No! <laughs> Would it help if we tied him to the amphibious go-kart? Under it. In the water. We're gonna do some more work on the go-kart later, but now we're headed off to Ike's birthday dinner, so. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. What's going on, guys? We are bolting the engine on the Murray, and we are getting so close to going out for a ride. That's right. Yes. We're joined by Taylor and Taylor today. Hello. The executive <laughs> producers. <laughs> yes. Have here for a shareholder meeting. And I've been flown to Australia. <laughs> To practice my accent. I've been told we can appeal to a larger audience if I've got an accent. 
That's not going to make the cut. Okay. <laughs> huh. That's a shame. No, no. We're so good at it. Thanks, bud. Yeah. The bolts we have on there are a little bit smaller than we hoped for, but it'll, it'll be, be fine. fine. <laughs> Ooh, this you know what? This is for testing purposes we don't, only. We don't need to forget that bolt. Oh, uh, no, that one's important. Very yeah, important. Punch that back yeah, in and stick you know the nut on it. Australian accent's like? What? When we first started hanging out with Ike, and we started saying man, man? and stuff, instead of talking normally, and now... That's not normal? Not saying man. So we got the torque converter on it, we got the chain tension, we got the motor bolted down, the motor mounts drilled. Uh, test ride time, right? That's right. Cool. Ain't no testing. It's gonna be fun. Oh, we also had to kind of mutilate the airbox a little bit to get it fit, but it'll be fine because we're putting a pod filter on there pretty soon anyway. Yep. And this thing does have electric start, but we don't have it hooked up, so I'm just going to pull start it right now. like the 670 we're gonna have to remove the governor for it to really get some power Do something with these brakes there they, they need adjusting again yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do it yeah ike fixed the brake or so he hopes and i'm about to get on this thing and do a test with a 420 with 18.4 foot pounds of torque are we good yeah good first impressions you can feel the motor more than before. You can tell you got something a little bit bigger behind you. interesting but there's not a whole lot more pickup we're probably gonna have to ooh, we're probably gonna have to remove the governor to see the full uh, power improvement of this along with a header and some other stuff doesn't lack power anymore. At no point during this test have I wished it had more horsepower or torque. It's been great so far. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit of air up here or something. How do you feel before your, uh, your hill ascent, bud? Um, I'm not sure. I do want to walk up there and see the hill before I actually jump it. That hill's a good six foot tall. It's pretty tall, dude. And I think this is about a 45. It's pretty steep. All right. 
probably can't see it on camera, but. You gonna be up there like last time? I'll be up there like last time. All right, go ahead, bud. And I broke it. Good Lord, you destroyed it. Oh, you got so much air. Oh my God. You got so much. Oh, I hope Whoa. you got that, dude. How was your back? It flew into my mouth. <laughs> dude. I'd like to thank Go Power Sports. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Oh. That That's thoroughly destroyed. Oh. That is, that is Jeez. dead. Oh. <laughs> that was like, that was like some stuff you see on the internet. You know, like top 10 go-kart fails. You just hit <laughs> in the thumbnails. Just some dude like in the air. Um, <laughs> that was you! <laughs> oh. oh man. Back to the drawing board on this one. Wow, that is broken. Yeah. Dude, can you imagine how bad that would have been if that went down? He yeah, would have broken oh, back. Oh yeah, he would have been dead. Are you okay, bud? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, so well, how are we getting uh, this thing home? Let's get the hell out of here. I'll drive it. <laughs> can I drive it? I'll drive it. Uh, it, was, it was my fault. Why is that? Because I went up the hill at a slight angle because I was avoiding a limb. And uh, when I was up in the air, I was way sideways. I thought I was going to land on the side. And it, this hit sideways, and it went up far enough that this actually came in contact with this. So wow. that suspension went like that. Wow. Because I landed on that front. So, that, I mean, that was my fault. It was epic, dude. I can't wait to see the footage. It was epic. Yeah, that was uh, pretty high. Yeah. Look at that articulation. Good job, bud. Thank you. Oh, that's gonna be a big bruise. Are you okay? Yeah, dude, that's the only thing that hurts. Just a friendly reminder, everybody, don't do what we do at home at all. We're <laughs> idiots. Don't try this at home. My fault. Because sometimes you're kind of like, you know that 420 really isn't any more powerful than that 212. I don't see a big difference at all. And then you haul butt up a hill and you get four feet of air. <coughs> the front end of the go-kart is four feet up in the air. Yeah. And then you're looking up at your friend thinking, he's gonna die. It's not really the part's fault. This part is not designed to go four feet up in the air. It was all my fault. I, the, the 420 that we put on this go-kart is just way more powerful than I thought it was going to be. Even after you wrote, he wrote it, he was like, I really don't see that much of a difference. But clearly, you know, yeah. there's a difference. It, it wouldn't make it up the hill before. <laughs> it launched you off the hill. It launched you haven't even me modified this it yet. Yeah, this is bone stock. Um, now, were you completely beans? No. The whole impact was right here on this front wheel. It was. Uh, and, and, and that front suspension is just not designed to... It was also on the soft setting. Yes, it was on the full soft setting because we didn't have the tool to turn it to the harder and setting. And we didn't want to scar it up. Yeah. And well, now it looks like this. You know, it, it still would have broke. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. So that was my fault. I apologize. To Go Power to Sports. To Go Power Sports for uh, breaking their, their wonderful part. Their brand new part. It, it rode great up and down the hills over there. Oh yeah. Um, th uh, this thing was riding like a Cadillac. It was wonderful. And then I had to go and mess it up. It's all right, dude. This this beats the me running into the tree. I don't know about that. Yeah, it does. I broke a steering wheel. You destroyed <laughs> a, a shot. coil over. <laughs> yeah. Bent a tie rod. Put a tire off the rim. But anyway, we're gonna fix this next time. We gotta do some cleaning up. I gotta head back to college, but don't worry, we're still gonna have videos every Monday and hopefully some Fridays still. Um, yeah, we gotta thank Go Power Sports for this video. They sent us a ton of parts. There are links in the description. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check out our website, cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Man, this 420 is a beast. Yeah, it's a freaking. It is a beast in that torque converter. Smells like a worn out Briggs.